In this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you the best way to defend tight or any kind of compression set. This goes for bunch, it goes for tight um, in Madden 23. It's a really good little zone defense for defending any kind of compression set. We're gonna be kind of combining uh, two concepts within one defense today out of the 3-3 Cub. If you wanna get my entire 3-3 Cub defensive ebook, uh, the link is going to be down in the description below. For just 10 bucks, you'll be able to get access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks, as well as all of the updates uh, to them. So if you wanna become a Patreon member, the the link is down in the description. All right, guys, so how do we stop tight? And this is really, um, this has been kind of a tried and true method over the last at least three or four years. I believe that Deuce Close is the person that invented this, um, but there's ways that you can expand on this uh, to make this really good against the PA shot seems meta. So um, what we're gonna do is we are going to put our zone coverage to match. And then really important, we're going to put our flats on 30 and our curl flats are gonna go on five. You could also put your flats on 25, but I like 30. Um, you, again, situationally, you could move them down five or up five or whatever. And then the biggest thing here is we wanna make sure that our cover four show two is in our audibles. And then that's pretty much that. And then, I mean, just put, make sure you have uh, safeties at the linebacker position. Uh, I'm in regs right now, so we don't have the best rosters, uh, but you know, again, just whatever you want to do there, but just put the safeties in and then you're going to audible to cover four show too. Now, what I like to do with this um, is essentially you can move these safeties down just like you do at a dollar. And then what we want to do is we just want to put cloud flats on both of the outside players. We're going to blitz our user. And then the last little step that I like to do is take this linebacker on the left side and man him up on the outside player. And then I personally really like to shade my coverage outside. So essentially what this is doing is it's forcing tight to not be able to throw the ball to the sideline. That is the big thing we're doing here. We want to make sure that the formation cannot throw the ball to the sideline. Now I'm going to show you an alternate setup here in just a second, but I want to talk about the main thing that this takes away. And the main thing that this takes away is it takes away this corner route here on the left side. As you see, it's not really going to be able to be thrown. Obviously, you know, practice mode, it is what it is, but you can click on and you can make a play right there relatively easily okay now from there um again i like to move these guys down the box you don't have to another thing you can do is you can press and then back off the outside players if you wanted to do that um but the beauty of this here is if you watch this play in terms of this deep corner that outside quarter or that inside quarter in rex he's not going to play it as well as he's going to be able to play this in mutt but in mutt generally speaking that's going to be stopped um you're not really going to have to worry about that route if you are for whatever reason just go ahead and don't move the safeties down it'll kind of help him keep some leverage you see we get a little bit of a reroute there and then now you see we're able to play this a little bit better so again just call the cover four show two put both outside guys in clouds i like to man up this outside player um, just to kind of help bracket that and then basically this the, the primary concept of ph seams is going to struggle to consistently get open okay now let's talk about some of the secondary concepts that are really popular <clears throat> excuse me been sick for a little bit uh but let's talk about some of the uh secondary uh concepts within this so um one of the things that they can do is something like this now, if I was just running basic match coverage, <coughs> excuse me, um, this would actually be pretty good concept to beat it. But because we man up that outside player, this inside quarter is still going to play pretty good on this outside player. And he's able to take that away. Now, it's been a while since I played regs, but you can see the importance of pick artists. Um, we can't catch any picks. But anyway, so you see there, the two clouds, man this guy up. Now, there's another route combo that I didn't want to... <coughs> Uh, briefly touch on and that is just a traditional PA seams with a drag right here um, the one thing about this play is if they have time in the pocket they could try to freeform that outside and so there is a way to counter that specific adjustment that a lot of people like to run and it's simply this so what we're gonna do is we're gonna middle third the 
right side safety. And instead of cloud flatting, we're going to outside third. Now, the reason we want to do that, everything else is the same, but the reason we want to have an outside third on the wide side of the field is because tight formations cannot flood the wide side to the sideline. So, for example, if they ran a route combination like bench with a streak, this combo would not get open because, again, because of the way the Madden zones work, he's going to play that <coughs> pretty much every single time. Okay, so as you see there, I mean, he plays that if I have a KO, right, if I click on, we're going to be in a decent chance to be able to play that. Now, the other thing that we're able to do with that, because we put an outside third there, is he will actually go, if they do leave this guy on a deep streak, he will actually run the streak with him, and he'll actually play it. So that's how we can stop that specific concept. Now, the last concept that is actually becoming a lot more popular in this formation is basically this out of um, out of Saints in so essentially this. And the beauty of what we have here is because we have a middle third and a quarter zone. Again, don't worry too much. We're going to be able to use the slant, but I want you to watch this deep post. It's not going to get as open if that's a KO right there. Like if that's a mid zone knockout or a deep out zone knockout. He's going to have potential to KO that. The other thing that you have, though, um, is over here, if you take a look, like I'm going to be able to carry the slant to about right here, and then I'm going to have to basically play almost like a mid-read defender. So if you assume that we're able to take the first part of the slant uh, on the Saints in play, then what you'll notice here is this curl flat on five, he can kind of, like he's kind of there. And one little thing that you can do if they're going to this consistently and you want to really slow them down is you can just simply vertical hook this player uh, right here. So you see this is, <coughs> excuse me, um, this is the play art. Also remember that you have this guy manned up. So depending on who they put on a slant, um, you could have, you know, maybe the, the route combo looks like this. Now you've got it manned up, and you also have that vertical hook kind of sitting right in that little pocket in that seam area of the field. So they would have to wait on that, and again, ideally you're going to be able to get some sheds by that point. So this is a pretty solid, basic way to slow down tight. Now again, if you wanted to bracket, um, you know, if they're running that slant post concept a lot, then going to something like this is going to be really good because now... Like if they're running this and it looks something like so, now you have a cloud flat over there as well to kind of help bracket that slant. So again, you take the slant, you come back in here. Now that cloud flat's able to kind of play that slant a little bit. And that would be where maybe a scenario where you drop your cloud flats down to uh, 20 yards. So this is a pretty good all in all uh, coverage defense for tight. You can do this out of dollar as well. Um, really any defense that has match coverage you can apply this principle to but the basic tenet of it is essentially we're going to play match coverage but we're going to have these outside clouds and then we're going to have this man up uh, to take away the PA shot seams play. I want to thank you guys for watching this video and if you want to get more of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks make sure that you join the Patreon. You can do so by heading down to the description and clicking the link down below.